The landscape is so important uh, in the Bobby Hanskloof, the history of this place. You can see it in the mountains. You can you can see the geology of this place, which is uh, which is so obvious. You can see the history of 300 of million years of geological time, and all those things are important because we need to understand understand how this place was developed, how this place uh, uh, came to be what it is today and, and know the history of the place. So it's important to, to have a knowledge of your landscape and the place in which you live and also to, to have a passion. Uh, so I'm very passionate about the area and, and I love the area. For me it's important to to respect uh, the way this landscape uh, regenerates itself and how it operates and and make it possible for us as human beings to live here. Well, Speckboom in our era is it occurred naturally in this era. So over millions of years, these trees was. Uh, adapted to this environment in which they grow and uh, with overgrazing it was stripped of the felt and with a loss of vegetation it's a loss of topsoil and these trees plays a major part in not only protecting the soil but also uh, to my compost and, and organic material which goes back to your soil to replace and to regenerate new soils. So uh, I think that's the importance and this tree is fully adapted to do that. If you look at this, it's got a dress that actually puts the canopy back and protects the soil and that brings down your soil temperatures as well and help to restore the biology of the soil. So uh, I think it's a very important Part that these trees play. I think, uh, yeah, in short, if you lose vegetation, you lose topsoil. So in this in this case, uh, we try to to reverse a process that happened here over 200 years of subsistence farming, where this area was just stripped of vegetation. Yeah. I think the two important cycles in nature which we need to restore is the carbon cycle. And, and the water cycle in our area. So uh, if you look at the carbon cycle, you need vegetation, you need plants. Speckworm is very effective in, in this carbon cycle because it gives you, like, it protects the soil, it's got, uh, the way it grows, it, it actually covers the soil as well, it re -roots itself, so there's a lot of roots going into the soil and uh, yeah and then this also protect the carbon uh, that this comes from this plant and uh, which is your new generation of soil so we've planted the stack here but you can see the growth that this plant have it, it's going covering covering the soil you already you can see the accumulation of organic matter in underneath this plant so it's already starting to protect and building new soil putting nutrients and stuff back and if if you put carbon back in your soil I think a half percent of carbon probably betters your water penetration by 50 percent so by putting back carbon you're also restoring the water cycle and you uh, you increase the uh, uh, the, the way the soil can absorb the water and that water is now available for the plant for the for a for a couple of years so um, this is the water cycle and the carbon cycle is going hand in hand 
When you have bare soil with no carbon, the water just run off and it causes erosion. We've got a very large catchment area and this tributary has been cut which brings the water from that area down into the Bavianska Valley. So uh, coming from the mountains the water has a lot of energy and it, there's waterfalls and whatever. So as soon as it reach the area where it's more flat like the bottom of this valley the, the, the water slows down, the runoff slows down and the water loses some of its energy and when that happens the, it starts to deposit so it brings along with it a lot of debris, rocks and sand and as soon as the energy is released and the water slows down you get that it starts to deposit it like in front here so what happened in this area where, where we've restored the natural flow regime of this tributary coming from the mountains, uh, we've put it back over the old alluvial fan. Uh, previously this, this was uh, engineered with a bulldozer to form a channel going that way away from the natural area so we've blocked that man-made channel and just put the water back where it naturally flowed over many years hundreds of years and now we've got our system functional again where the water not just run away in the channel but it actually are captured by the area in which it goes and in that way we, we actually bring up our water table again. The soil in this area was very degraded so uh, we had a lot of water just run away. So we've made these ponds to capture the, the runoff and water and then uh, we actually replanted with, with speckworm and uh, grass seeds and stuff. So what this will bring along is uh, a small pond with a, a functional ecosystem which captures salt, which captures water and which make it available for the plants and then we put a, some brush packing, we do some branches on top to protect the plants but also to put some organic material and carbon back to the soil so I think uh, everything this small ecosystem need is now available here. So we will have this pockets of small ponds that, that will spread from here into the rest of the area. So in time this little pond will silt up. It will capture a lot of salt, it will capture water and it will regenerate the vegetation and the seeds that were growing there. But what I've done here is just to make a, a a test. So we've we've actually put some uh, biodiversity mats in the nursery where there's a lot of sp uh, plant species in on in in a, in a block of this, and we put this whole block into this uh, this this furrow that we've made here. So this furrow will capture the water and salt from the slope here, and. Hopefully we can get this biodiversity pocket here to develop and grow and, and in that way they will sp it will spread to the rest of the area. But that's, this is the sort of things that we do to see how we can improve uh, vegetation growth in this area. Well it's wonderful to, to come here to this area which was severely degraded. And after we've uh, planted speckworm here about eight years ago, they start to look very good. And uh, you can actually see we sort of get our canopy back uh, and we get a ground cover 
and we know that these trees can do a lot to improve our soil and protect our soil and uh, yeah it makes me feel very good well the thing is uh, when we were still farming with goats uh, they really had a very uh, degrading uh, effect uh, on, on, on speckworm especially and uh, and now we don't have goats anymore so we don't have the income but the problem with degraded land is that you it becomes so marginal that you don't have uh, much of your income so the uh, the damage that you do to the felt or to the environment uh, is much more than you can get from farming with goats so for me it, the, the decision was rather to remove the goats and make use of the restoration program to restore the land um, to plant these trees we we it didn't cost us money so it enabled me to restore the land without bankrupting myself so the income is marginal but even if i farmed with goats it would be marginal so i would rather this area now is a proclaimed nature reserve so we're looking at other animals that will probably use the felt natural species that occur in the area and they will use the spec boom in a sustainable way so we're more looking at farming with wildlife and uh, protect this area as a nature reserve and that's the way forward that's how i see the future of this place and uh, yeah we we still have income from tourism and this place will just get better all the time for tourists also to visit the place uh, if we can get the vegetation back and the animals natural species that graze in the area that will better our product product tourism product and we still have areas on the farm where we can farm with with the, for instance the rosemary project uh, essential oil project so we can still make a living and that's that's the important thing we we don't want to get rich but we want to have a good life and uh, that's for me it's what it's all about